Tonight, on Wise Guy. Frank, you can't die on me, Frank. There's every reason to believe there's brain damage. We'll pray for Frank. Where's Kusakis? I don't know where he is. Breathe, Frank, breathe! Don't be a schmuck. I've come to hear your confession. I feel guilty. I'm embracing life, and my best friend is an inch from death's door. Come on, Frank. I need you alive. I gotta stop him from doing this to me. Previously, on Wise Guy. I went to this place, uh, Health Elimination Systems, and we paid 100 bucks cash to remove waste from hospitals. And we take it to this lot, and the bags would leak down into this drain. And the drain ran right by a public school where there was an outbreak of hepatitis. So I told this Kasakis guy that his bags are probably poisoned in the school. He tells me to shut up. So I beat the hell out of him, and the next day, Kasakis sends two guys after me. God forgive me. I killed two men yesterday. I was gonna throw myself off the bridge. I heard your church bells ring. The bells in this church haven't rung in a decade. We're not the only people looking for Vince. He's here, Frank. I know it. He'd run. He's emotionally wounded prey. He won't move till he's healed. Get this Vinny, he didn't give me a last name, and bust him up. Wait! He's shot by the patent, McPike. I'm gonna kill that son of a bitch. Who? Kasakis, I'm gonna kill him. The case. I'll be in touch. Father Pat was about to hold a press conference about ECS dumping toxic waste. Yeah, but I'm removed from that. There's no link. John's a link. You know I practically raised John from the cradle. I know. But he's a man now, Harriet. A man who can hurt us. Then I guess somebody will just have to bust him up. I can't do anything more for him. still with your body and through this holy anointment may the lord help you with the grace of the holy spirit may the lord who frees your sins frank? save you and raise you up frank you can't die on me frank frank breathe frank breathe breathe
Yeah. It's unbelievable. Get him into surgery. Code blue. In with oxygen. Thank you, Mr. Kenneth. I want nothing here with my name on it. You check these out while I look around. These ledgers show cash transactions. Mr. Sockers to you. 10,000 last month. 12,500 the month before. Johnny was smarter than I thought, keeping records like this. Where's Kusakis? I don't know where he is. Give yourself a break, Mickey. I don't know. Charlie? Mr. Kenneth? Wait, come on. I tell you? Yeah. Wait, what are you doing? I'm telling you, I don't know where he is. He didn't tell me nothing. Please, come on here. I've always been square with you. Tell Harriet what she needs to know. Hide and watch, Harriet. <laughs> you think you could take HES from me? You threw it to me like it was a bone. And I, I made a success out of it! what it would become. AIDS was a blessing. Nobody wants to cart that stuff out of hospitals anymore. Who are you gonna call? Me. <laughs> yeah. You try, Harriet. Try and take, try and take HES away from me. You get dead. You and Charlie. <laughs> Two days in this rat hole. And then I'm gonna be running the old bags organization. Security extension 304. Security extension 304. 
Did you shoot those two guys? Yeah. They were gonna kill me. Kasakis sent them. You find Kasakis, you'll find Emmett too. Emmett Soul's head of the Board of Environmental Safety. Yeah, I sent him a note about the HES and the toxic dumping. Next thing I know, he sends these two guys after me. You know right where to find me too. I can't believe that Kusakis would want to kill me. Do you know I baptized that little bastard? He said bells. Kusakis killed him. He shot the priest. He got out of the car. That's all I know. He got out of the car and? We drove away from the church. He made me stop the car. And he took off. He was crazy. And where did he go? He ran to the corner and he disappeared. He told me to uh, meet him at Temple Beth Jacob after Friday night services. Friday night at the temple? Yeah. And then what? That's it. I swear. That's all I know. I swear to God. Take those boxes out to the car. Johnny was such an adorable kid. Okay, Mr. Kenneth, let's go. Done. Let's go, Mr. Kenneth. I love a rainy morning. Makes me want to curl up in front of a fire with a mug of hot chocolate. <laughs> what was that place we always used to go with Saul for breakfast? Hey, you mean Leo's? Ah, <gasps> Matzah Bry. And the only schmaltz herring north of San Francisco. Lox, egg with onions. The all is so fresh, you didn't even have to chew. You know why I always like Leo? In the back. He always has some fresh scrapple for the goyim. <laughs> Trafe. I wonder if Leo's is still there. Well, if it is, the schmaltz is on me. Mr. Kenneth, Leo's. Anybody here from his immediate family? Yes, we are. He's breathing on his own, but he's in a coma. There's every reason to believe there's brain damage. To what extent, we don't know until or if he comes out of it. He said something about bells. I heard him. Possibly some kind of a voiced aspiration. Speech or thought in his state would be impossible. 
Well, aren't there some specialists we ought to call in? I'd say Father Pat can do more for me. Anyone else? <sighs> Thank you, though. Better get you to a safe house. I'm gonna go back to the church. You can't run away, man. I'm not running. I need what I can get there. I won't run away. You'll have to be watched. I understand that. Who's come home to roost? They think they're gonna starve me out. But I got food. They don't know how ready I am. I can't believe John would do this. Well, you don't have to worry about him. He tried to kill you to stop the press conference. It's too late. Cat's out of the bag about HES. OCB knows about the toxic dumping. They probably picked up Emmett Sol by now. If he tries to come back here, those agents will grab him before he steps one foot inside. They got pictures, Father. They know what he looks like. You're safe. And what about you, Vince? What do you mean? You came here for a reason. You mustn't let the horrible thing that happened make you lose sight of that. Sanctuary is about healing. We'll pray for Frank, and through our prayers, perhaps you'll find your own healing. They know what I look like, huh? Mr. Soul is the subject of a federal investigation. It supersedes Seattle authority, sir. Yeah, but we got him first. Look, you can let me talk to him. That is not going to jeopardize your arrest. You're what, the DEA? I'm OCB. Nah, it's got to be DEA. Where else do they let you look like that? I'm OCB, sir. What's that, FBI or CIA? Are you done with the alphabet soup? Look, you gonna let me see this man or not? N-O-T. Captain Dunk. Excuse me. 
Where are we holding show? Interrogation room A. Thanks. Wait a second. Who was that? Where's his ID? He doesn't need one. Why not? That's Charlie Bowden. Prison, Charlie. You won't. End up some lifer's wife. Shut up, Stretch. I haven't got a lot of time. Being bent over by big, ugly men. I'm 62 years old, Charlie. I can't make it. I'll have a heart attack. I'm not healthy. We've taken care of you. Now, Harriet and I need your help. You're not going to jail. Everything's being laid on Kusakis. Your only task, Emmett, is to shut up and talk through your attorney. Harriet's sending Ricky Finkelstein down to handle this for you. Ricky? Yeah. Everything's going to be fine. Just let Ricky handle it. Okay, Charlie, I'm sorry. I get it. Everything's fixed. You know what Harriet and I did last night? What? We tortured a guy. Hello, boys. God bless you for being here. I can't tell you what it means to Father Pat. Thank you, Father. Emmett's got the program, Harry. Don't worry. Oh. Just as long as you didn't end it at a friendly schmooze. You gotta push that guy's rear right up to the hot pipe. You know that. Stretcher's a born follower. Can't wait for hoops to jump through. Only worry we got now is... Mm, is finding Johnny. Are you all right? Harriet, I've been fighting that schmaltz herring most of the day. <laughs> Goyam. Jews. Harriet, somebody there? I've come to hear your confession. Harriet! Harriet! Johnny, you look terrible. Why the hell would you do that to yourself? John. Harriet, is Kusakis there? Shut up, Charlie. I got people looking for me, remember? Is that Kusakis? Harriet, who's there? Are you all right? You want me to come over? Should I send someone? I can send some units, Harriet. I said... Shut up, Hammerhead! Yes. It's John Kusakis. We've been worrying about you, Johnny. Oh, yeah. You're the udder for the milk of human kindness. Don't make this personal. <laughs> Don't make this personal. <laughs> Look what she did to me. Ten years of rolling around in garbage. I'm a wanted man because of her. If it's an apology you want, you got it. 
If it's a confession, fine, all right. It's my fault. It is my fault that I let you work with toxics all those years. I just wasn't thinking, Johnny. You thought garbage was my life, my dream. <laughs> that I came home from Little League and I ran down into the basement and stacked waste paper baskets in hope that someday I would get to do it for real. <laughs> you know, I think maybe it might have started with Saul. But he was just trying to give you a leg up. Maybe he pushed you too fast. Running HES right after college. No, no. I liked it. I liked running the business, and I was good at it. Saul promised me I'd move up. He said, you do good, Johnny, and there's more for you at the table. Then he died, and I get stuck at the table feeding off the scraps that you left me. He warned me about you, Harriet. The bitch is cheap, he said. She wants it all. You know, I was getting real close with Janine. And he told me, don't do it, Johnny. Look at me. Bleeding ulcers, milk of magnesia. Do I look like I want to join a country club and hang out with Presbyterians? Little fish on their pants, those the tassels on their shoes. Listen to me, Johnny. If you need it that bad, rent it. John, listen to me. You're not well. You need help. We can help you. I'm fine. For the first time in my life, I feel in control. Johnny, look at yourself there. You're deteriorating. We can fix what happened at the shooting. If the Fed pulls through, there won't be a murder charge. Either way, we plead insanity. The most you'll do is a couple of years, and it won't even be in prison. It'll be at the Dahlmeyer facility. They can help you there. That's for the criminally insane. I'm not insane. Oh, John, you are nuts. I didn't say that, Johnny. Nuts. Nuts. While you enjoyed your lousy golf, I covered myself with medical waste. While you took vacations to the Greenbrier, I sat in an office and dispensed cash to truck drivers who glowed in the dark. And for the last two days, Harriet, I've had to eat sweet and sour cabbage with mayonnaise. Johnny, don't be a schmuck. John, John, what are you doing? Harriet, Harriet! To suck us, you crazy bastard, what are you doing? Harriet, say something! Harriet! Harriet can't come to the phone right now. She's in the rough.
John Kusakis did this. I have it on good authority. He's meeting some of his goons this Friday at Temple Beth Jacob. How's Frank? You know, the doctor said he's got brain damage. They're just trying to determine the extent of it. Can you stay for dinner? Uh, thanks, Father, but uh, I have plans. With your lady friend? <laughs> yeah, it kind of makes me want to stay in Seattle, Father. You're in love. That's good. <laughs> you know what? I just might be. But I feel guilty. I came here to help with Vinny's problem. Now I'm embracing life, and my best friend is an inch from death's door. It's all too weird to understand. I always wonder what God thinks. Our friend was standing on a bridge, looking down into the icy waters, wondering if what his life had come to was worthless. And I was sitting in my confessional wondering the exact same thing, hearing a petty, insincere confession from a just-in-case penitent. And I was just as insincere with a God bless you, go in peace. When Vinny walked in, and he shook my faith to its foundation, he said, I heard the bells. They were calling to me to my last chance. The bells haven't rung in years. God brought us here for a purpose, in this place at this time, to restore our faith. Yeah. Isn't that what you guys always say? Yes, we do. But this time, I believe it. But if you want facts in which to base your belief, fact, through all the traumas that brought us here, a facility that has been poisoning the water of this city has been shut down. Children who were getting sick are now safe. It's as though we've all been given another chance. Shaded reality, the gray areas. I know you know that I always wanted to see things in black and white. Will you keep me from making that mistake? Of course, I don't think it was intentional or anything. Most of the time, you. Just irritated the hell out of me. But you stick into the system like you do. 
but you are a good teacher. I learned a lot of things from you. The system... The system is neutral. It's us. Whether things turn out good or bad, it all depends on us. Now we use the system. Or don't use it. Twist it. When I came in the room, I saw you laying there. And I thought you were dead. I was never more afraid. I've lost a lot of people. A lot of family. And I suffered it. But it didn't scare me. Like the thought of you being gone. And the doctors came in and they told me Mr. McPike would probably have brain damage. I thought to myself, yeah, so what? What else is no? Come on, Frank. I know you heard that. Come on, Frank, give me a, a smile or a laugh or something. Give me one of those sarcastic looks you always do. Come on, Frank. Give me something. I know this is selfish, Frank. I know it is. But I do need you. I need you whole and well. I need you alive. In whatever form it takes. That's just that. I can't imagine life without you. Hello, Mr. Bowden. <laughs> Goodbye, Charlie. Bolton lies bleeding on the steps of Temple Beth Jacob, and for Kusakas, everything's Jake. Soon a truck will arrive from Health Elimination Services to cart away the human garbage. And that's the way it is. Good night, and good luck. Good night, Chet. Good night, David. Thanking you for your time this time. Until next time. Who's there? Leave me alone.
or the path. I gotta stop him from doing this to me. Oh, oh, God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had the strangest dream. I dreamt I was trapped inside the mouth of a cow. Isn't that the belly of a whale? Oh. <laughs> I'm forgetting my own theology. Sure smell like a mouth of a cow. Yeah, Father, how do I get up to the belfry? Why? Well, I want to see the bells. I want to see if I can't fix them. I want to ring him for Frank. How is he? He's the same. I know ringing the bells won't make any difference, but I'd like to do it anyway. It's a lot of hard work. I'd like to do it. Then it's a good project for you and for this old church. Follow me. That damn dog has been at my cabbage. Now there's a friendly face. Cow Zoom. I belong at the Dalmeyer State Facility, huh? Well, who's this gun pointing at? Not me. That stinks up here. It's that damn dog!
Uncle Mike, Nona, I'm glad you're here. How's Frank? Ah, uh, well, no change. We got that autopsy on Kusaki, so it was full of mercury. I guess all those years at HES, he must have come into a lot of contact with it. He was mad as a hatter. What do you mean? And that's where the expression comes from. They used to use mercury to form the brims of the hat. They put the hat down, roll the mercury around. Poor fellas who held that job, well, they got poisoned by the mercury. And they went as mad as a hatter. <laughs> I might have been a nice guy at one time. It's not right. You know, the real beast in all of this is Charlie Bowden. And Charlie Bowden is still sitting in his office. Cross your fingers. <laughs> 